going on everybody? Dustin here with Hook and Needle. I built a curing box for the UV clear that I'm gonna be putting on the lures that I paint. As you know, and if you've seen from some of the other videos, uh, I've picked up lure painting as kind of a side hobby and something to connect my art side with fishing. I figured put them together, paint some baits. Uh, it's really fun to do, but I needed something to cure the clear coat that is UV reactive. So I built this box, it's lined with reflective, it has two UV lights, so it will get all the way around the baits, cure, and uh, they'll be good to go, take them to the water and fish them. So if this is something that could help you, go ahead and watch the video, I'll show you exactly how I put this together. You can make something like it for yourself, and uh, hopefully it works out for you. Check it out. So what I have going on here is all the parts for the box are marked out. Uh, these are the sides. They are 14 tall by 11 wide, 14 tall by 11 wide. That makes uh, the half inch plywood that I'm using, the 11 makes up for 12 inches. The sides are going to be 18 wide, 14 tall, and the bottom is 12 wide by 18. The holes I have marked out right here for the lights are six and a half wide, four and three quarters tall. I left enough room so when I mount the base of it right here, it'll be able to turn inside. I'll show you more about that later. It probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now. I'm gonna drill out some holes now where the jigsaw can go in and cut out the center window for the lights. So now I have my sides, my front and back, and my bottom. And with these, I'm going to cover them in a metallic covering to reflect light. So light bounces around inside the box. The UV light kind of moves around and gets trapped in there and helps cure the baits from all the different angles and sides that it needs to. So I've never tried this before, but I got some adhesive spray and I have some filler paper from the dollar store. It's chrome reflective. So I'm gonna try to spray, lay this stuff out and then trim the edges off. We'll see how it goes.
All right, so what I've done now is I put a clamp on the back side and I clamp the front and back and one of the sides together so I can get some screws into it. And then I am going to put the other side on. I'm gonna put the other side just in there temporarily for the moment, just so it kind of squares it up. And we will start getting this thing screwed together. Okay, so the box is all put together. I have a piece of angle aluminum from when I built the tiny boat. What I need now is I've marked out two sections that are gonna go on the sides of the box that the lamps can mount onto. And then I also have another section that's gonna go across the top. I'm gonna put holes in it so that way I can hang the baits and I'll be able to lift this in and out. I could load it up with baits, drop it in, pull the whole thing out and do whatever I need to do with it. I can hang the baits down and it comes right out and goes right back in. All right, so I have the mounts done to mount the lights too. I have uh, two holes drilled to mount the light and three screws across the bottom to hold it onto the box so I'll be able to mount the lights right here and they will go into these windows that go through the box. <laughs> 